There is an extensive amount of history regarding Lake Murray and the Dreyer Shoals Dam. Lexington Water Power Company, now South Carolina Electric and Gas, built the dam in order to generate electricity. The lake and dam were constructed in three years, and in 1930, the first electric power of 10,000 kilowatts was delivered. This was regarded, at the time, as the largest power reserve in the world. To acquire the land, 100,000 acres was purchased for more than 5,000 families. Their land was sold between $15 and $45 an acre. Nearly a dozen of communities had to be abandoned. To this day, there are still nearly a dozen communities, thousands of graves, a bridge, bomber airplanes, boats, and bomb fragments under Lake Murray. The theory is to build a dam on a large river that has a large drop in elevation. The dam stores lots of water behind it in the reservoir. Near the bottom of the dam wall, there is a water intake. Gravity then causes it to fall through the penstock inside the dam. At the end of the penstock, there is a turbine propeller, which is turned by the moving water. The shaft from the turbine goes up into the generator, which produces the power. The power lines are connected to the generator and they carry the electricity to your home and mine. The water continues past the propeller, through the tail race, into the river past the dam. In this case, it flows into the Saluda River. According to the U.S. Federal Energy Commission, the benefit of the Saluda Hydroelectric Project is determined by estimating the cost of obtaining the same amount of energy and capacity by using a likely alternative, such as fossil fuels. SCENG's data about the project indicate that the project generates an average of 180,069 megawatt hours of electricity annually. The annual power value of the project under the no action alternative would be roughly $39,212,000, or about $217.76 per megawatt hour. The average annual cost of producing this power would be about $15,649,110, resulting in an average annual benefit of $23,562,900. In other words, the project produces energy that is less than that of currently available alternative generation by roughly $130 per megawatt hour. Overall, there are several pros and cons of hydroelectricity, and they should all be considered before a new project is started. In general, hydroelectricity is a renewable form of energy that also produces no pollution besides during construction. Additionally, hydroelectricity is a very reliable form of energy production because as long as there is water, there is power. The flow can be completely controlled to match the energy consumption and there is no fuel involved, making it safer than fossil fuels and nuclear energy. However, Many costs associated with hydroelectric dams hinder their expansion. These include various environmental impacts to species around these areas, especially to ecosystems downstream from the dam. The fluctuations in the flow and the velocity of water can affect various fish species. The dam can also block food and other nutrients from flowing downriver, starving these ecosystems. In addition, the initial costs from building these dams are very high. Although they typically go down as the dams require less maintenance and staff than other power plants. Finally, the future use of hydroelectric dams is most likely not going to increase as we have already used suitable reservoirs. According to energyinformative.org, currently there are about 30 major power plants under construction, and only one of these projects has started in the last two years.